As we go about our busy days in the city of trees, many of us forget that running through this growing metropolis is a sanctuary for many of the creatures that make Idaho the wild place we love. And this time of year, a very special creature, the North American bald eagle, comes to the Treasure Valley to perch in the cottonwoods over the Boise River, often just yards away from the thousands of cars driving past. Yeah, one's out kind of facing us. For Greenbelt enthusiasts like Corey Serber, it's a great reason to get out and take photos. This time of year, it's harder to motivate yourself to get out, but over the weekend I saw that the Eagles were had come back to town. There was a, a pair that I was following last year, and so it brought me right back down here to find them. The Cottonwood ecosystem and the flowing water that never freezes over provide the perfect place for eagles to forage for their favorite food, fish. During a typical year, 10 to 13 eagles spend their winters on the Boise between Lucky Peak and Glenwood. Avian ecologist Colleen Moulton, who has spent hours helping count the eagles during January, says two years ago, the population quadrupled. During that snowmageddon or snowpocalypse in 2017, there were 43 birds counted, which was the highest we've ever had since this survey started in the mid 80s. Most of the water in the region was frozen, and this is one of the few places that was still open for them to come forage for the winter. Moulton says the eagles are unfazed by nearby traffic because they don't perceive cars and trucks as predators. And the eagles that winter here are generally undisturbed by people on foot. If they're perched over the green belt, feel free to walk under them and take pictures. They, if they're, they're sitting there, they're comfortable with you being around them. If they are off the trail, don't follow them. Um, but in general, this time of year, they don't seem to be too phased by people. And many of the people walking and riding on the green belt are unfazed by the eagles because they don't even know the birds are there. I'll be out here taking pictures and it's not until somebody sees somebody with a camera pointed at something that they stop and kind of look, look to see what, what are they taking pictures of and then they, they're really excited. And as many photos as she has of eagles and other wildlife here, Cerber also gets excited, especially when one of the majestic birds flies overhead. Oh, he's flying. Oh. And sometimes she sees something that comes as a complete surprise, like a fearless squirrel moving in for a closer look. <laughs> you see the squirrel climbing up to him? Cerber says those moments make any time of year a good time to explore this treasure of the Treasure Valley. Right in the middle of town, you have kind of this nature sanctuary. And, you know, I literally came from work and 15 minutes later, you're along the river and you can see eagles. I mean, there's not a lot of places you can do that. Steve Liebenthal, six on your side.